Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Not be smart the apple so. So Buhari has been told to take immediate actions against Emefili and Malami, the Attorney General of the Federation. One may be wondering and saying, ah, they should take action against them. Yes, because these guys, in fact, to themselves, they are more president than president. You don't understand. Emefili will wake up one morning and tell you it's changing this. But again, let's let's be honest, let's be truthful. These guys cannot do anything on their own if they are not being aided, supported by some powers. When I say some powers, I mean by some powers. Buhari and the rest of the uh, Buhari is just using, for instance, a Mefili. Mefili is just a dummy. Whatever Buhari says goes. So when you see a Mefili walking, don't think that it's just walking because he has something to say. No, 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 no. A Mefili is taking directives. Yes, a Mefili is taking directives. It's just a shame that he has to bear the bones. But the truth of the matter is we should know who really to divert these things to. Mefili cannot just sit down one day and just take a decision. You know, and so also is, uh, you know, Malami. Malami is one of the most crooked, corny, you know, fellow that we have in leadership today. Guess what is a Buhari son, son-in-law. And yet both of them are not supposed to be because of conflict of interest in the same administration. Sadly, that's what we are having. If you're going to be Buhari's son, one person should be stepping aside. But guess what? They both refuse. Nobody follow on with that to say what should be done that this the right thing in order for you know for transparency and things to be done decently and in order you know so that there is no bias in any of the quarters we don't see any of that what we see are rather people who wants to do their own thing malami emefeli take actions against them immediately the rule of law advocacy and accountability center has called on president muhammad buhari to take actions against the Attorney General of the Federation, Abu Bakr Malami, and the Central Bank Governor, Godwin Emefili, for failing to obey the order of the Supreme Court. In a statement signed by its Executive Director, O.K. Chuku, on Tuesday, the group said it wasn't persuaded by the statement issued by the spokesperson of the President, which has stated that Buhari neither directed the Attorney General of the Federation nor the Governor of Central Bank to disobey the Supreme Court. Okay, Chuku stated that it did not make sense for the president's spokesperson to make excuses for him when Malami and Ban Emefeli are both answerable to the same president. Recall that the Supreme Court on March the 3rd, 2023 has directed that the old 200, 500 and 1000 Naira notes remain legal tender until 31st of December, 2023. The court heard that the president directives on february the 16th uh, that invalidated the that made the 200 and 1000 naira notes invalid is no longer that statement is no longer valid as they will that as the legal as 500 and 1000 remain legal tender to december the 31st however these two men has blatantly rejected and refused anything that has to do with the court the same people who are answerable to buhari and buhari is trying to make excuses for their actions nigerians are in awe wondering what next and how things have been and how things got this far so my wonderful people this is what is happening every single person is asking themselves the same question excuse me how did we get here why is there so much lies what is going on buhari himself does not even we don't understand if he understands his core duty and what he needs to do as the president it seems very much like he's just you know he's assigning what he should be doing you know that's the way it feels it feels like he's not ready to take on responsibility and ensure that you know he stands for what is right it feels very much like he's making all the excuses that he can okay humanly speaking possible he's making all the excuses you know and it's, it's very shameful to mention but if you it's very shameful so when you look at the whole thing you can see that there is real issues here in this country i mean how did we get here in the first place where court order has no there is no words to mention but a few it's as though the the legislative arm of the country is not operational excuse me it's wrong what is wrong is wrong there is no other name for it people should know we should know the truth 
We should know the difference. We should know the truth. However, none of these things really, really takes, you know, really, really takes, you know, give, it's really giving serious thoughts and the truth being dispensed. It just feels like people can do whatever they want to do and get away with it. And nobody really is rising up to say this is wrong. You know, nobody really is rising up to say this is not acceptable. It's a shame. A serious shame to really mention, but if it's a serious shame, you know. So these are some of the things that are going on. And Nigerians, it's about time, okay, we begin to honor the right thing. It's about time we begin to rise up for what is right and ensure that things are done decently and in order, okay. So Nigerians, don't forget, every time we neglect the opportunity of doing what is right, every time we, we ignore the right thing to do, we have just left ourselves to chance. And if we're going to bring this country into disrepute, there is no need. When we say we have a nation, we should follow the rule of law, which puts us in that place of prominence that calls us a democratic setting, not some people doing as they please or as they choose. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. Sadly, these are some of the things that have beclad our mind. The governorship election is around the corner. We wait to see the, the miracle that INEC will do again. You know, people are calling that, you know, Buhari, if he wants to say that he does, he, you know, he's not part of it, he should come out and, you know, defend and ensure that these two people, you know, are treated in the, in the scheme of things, how things should be. We have a country where, okay, we have a country where, you know, there is no, there is no truth whatsoever. We have a country where lies, you know, have taken over the order of the day. And Nigerians are seriously wondering what to do. You know, people come on board and they are just doing whatever they want. It's a shame. It's a real shame. Okay? So Nigerians, let's go out there. Let's make sure that we vote. Let's vote with integrity. Let's do what we did in the, in the presidential election. Let's ensure that our voices are heard. Let's not allow the same thing over and over again. Let's rise up to it and let's make sure that everything is done decently and in order. Those are some of the ways that we can truly affect our society and make a whole lot of difference. Yes, remember, it's up to you and I. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can have all our latest news. Remember, you have a voice. God bless. Have a lovely and a fantastic day from us is bye for now. Bye-bye.